Hello everyone. The outbreak of the novel coronavirus, or COVID-19, has caused a major upset in our daily affairs. When we visited WHO, or the World Health Organization's website, we found some important information which they asked to share with the public. This information busts many unnecessary myths about the virus and helps us to avoid panic. We thought of creating a video to explain the slides instead of sharing it directly as a part of our responsibility. Now let's bust each myth one by one. Now, does going to an extreme in weather kill the coronavirus, such as cold weather and snow? The truth is that there is no reason to believe that cold weather can kill the new coronavirus or other diseases. Because the normal human body temperature remains around 36.5 degrees Celsius and 37 degrees Celsius, regardless of the external temperature or weather. So cold weather and snow cannot kill the new coronavirus. The most effective way to protect yourself against the new coronavirus is to frequently clean your hands with alcohol-based hand rub or washing them with soap and water. Now, what about going to the other extreme, such as taking a hot bath? Please note that taking a hot bath will not prevent you from catching COVID-19. Your normal body temperature, whether it's in the cold or warm climates, remains around 36.5 degrees Celsius to 37 degrees Celsius. Now, there's another catch. Taking a hot bath with extremely hot water can be harmful as it can burn you. Again, you should know that the best way to protect yourself against COVID-19 is to frequently clean your hands. By doing so, you eliminate viruses that may be on your hands and avoid infection that could occur by then touching your eyes, mouth, and nose. Now, for paranoid people, here is a myth busted. Even though the new coronavirus can stay on surfaces for a few hours or up to several days, depending on the type of surface, it is very unlikely that the virus will persist on a surface after being moved, traveled, and exposed to different conditions and temperatures. Therefore, the new coronavirus, or COVID-19, cannot be transmitted through goods manufactured in China or any country reporting COVID-19 cases. This is due to the above situation and the quality assurance given by those companies which work in those countries. However, if you still think a surface may be contaminated, please use a disinfectant to clean it. And then, after touching it, clean your hands with an alcohol-based hand rub or wash them with soap and water to avoid getting infected. Now, a lot of other diseases, such as malaria, dengue, chikungunya, are spread via these creatures, mosquitoes. Does COVID-19 enter that realm? WHO states that to date, there has been no information, no evidence to suggest that the new coronavirus could be transmitted by mosquitoes. COVID-19 is a respiratory virus, which spreads primarily through droplets generated when an infected person coughs or sneezes, or through droplets of saliva or discharge from the nose. Therefore, it cannot be transmitted through mosquito bites. To protect yourself, clean your hands frequently with an alcohol-based hand rub or wash them with soap and water. Also, avoid close contact with anyone who's coughing and sneezing. The main thing is to wash your hands frequently. That is the best step that you can take against being infected with the coronavirus. Now. You've, you've heard that in airports, they use thermal scanners to find out people who are infected with coronavirus. How effective are they? Thermal scanners are effective in detecting people who've developed a fever. 
that is, have a higher than normal body temperature because of infection with the new coronavirus. But there's a catch. They cannot detect people who are infected but are not yet sick with fever. It takes between two and 10 days before people who are infected with coronavirus become sick and develop a fever. In these scenarios, going under a thermal scanner doesn't help. Now, for people who are now spring cleaning their devices, does spraying alcohol or chlorine all over your body kill the new coronavirus? It's a big no. Spraying alcohol or chlorine all over your body will not kill viruses that have already entered your body. The, there's another problem with spraying such substances because they can be harmful to clothes or mucous membranes such as your eyes and mouth. Now, be aware that both alcohol and chlorine can be useful to disinfect surfaces, but they need to be used under appropriate recommendations. Now, for those of us with pets, need, don't worry. At present, there is no evidence that companion animals or pets such as dogs or cats can be infected with the new coronavirus. Good news, right? However, be careful. It's always a good idea to wash your hands with soap and water after contact with pets. It may not be against the coronavirus, but it still protects you against various other diseases and common bacteria such as E. coli and Salmonella that can pass between pets and humans. So even though pets at home do not spread the new coronavirus, Please wash your hands after playing with your pets. Now, we've had issues with getting a new vaccine for coronavirus. Many people have the doubt that whether vaccines against pneumonia are enough to protect you against the new coronavirus. Again, sadly, no. Vaccines against pneumonia, such as pneumococcal vaccine, and Haemophilus influenza type B vaccine do not provide protection against the new coronavirus. There's a reason behind that too. This virus is so new and different that it needs its own vaccine. Researchers are trying to develop a vaccine against 2019 NCOV and the World Health Organization is supporting their efforts. Although these vaccines are not effective against COVID-19, please do vaccinate against respiratory illnesses. These are highly recommended to protect your health. Now, can regularly rinsing your nose with saline help prevent infection with the new coronavirus? There is no evidence that regularly rinsing the nose with saline has protected people from infection with the new coronavirus. However, there is some limited evidence that regularly rinsing the nose with saline can help people recover more quickly from the common cold. However, regularly rinsing the nose has not been shown to prevent respiratory infections. So using saline is helpful against influenza or the common cold, but not against COVID-19. Does garlic help prevent infection with the new coronavirus? While garlic is a healthy food that may have some antimicrobial properties, there is no evidence from the current outbreak of COVID-19 that eating garlic has protected people from the new virus. Therefore, another myth has been busted. This here is a common myth. Does the new coronavirus affect older people or are younger people also susceptible? It has been a debate and the WHO has your answer. People of all ages can be infected by the new coronavirus. Another thing to note is that older people and people 
with pre-existing medical conditions such as asthma, diabetes, heart disease, etc., appear to be more vulnerable to becoming severely ill with the virus. WHO advises people of all ages to take steps to protect themselves from the virus. For example, by following good hand hygiene and good respiratory hygiene. Are antibiotics effective in preventing and treating the new coronavirus? No, antibiotics do not work against viruses. They only work against bacteria. And if you've not seen until now, it's coronavirus. The new coronavirus is a virus and therefore antibiotics should not be used as a means of prevention or primary treatment of COVID-19. However, if you're hospitalized for COVID-19, you may receive antibiotics because bacterial co-infection alongside COVID-19 infection is possible. So therefore antibiotics still can save your life. Now, are there any specific medicines to prevent or treat the new coronavirus? To date, there's no specific medicine recommended to prevent or treat the new coronavirus. However, those infected with the virus should receive appropriate care to relieve and treat symptoms, and those with severe illness should receive optimized supportive care. Some specific treatments are under investigation and will be tested through clinical trials. The WHO is helping to accelerate research and develop an efforts with a range of partners for getting specific medicines against coronavirus. But as of now, there are none. The most important thing, and I repeat, the most important thing that you should be aware of when dealing with COVID-19 is the cure, or not the cure, it's the prevention. Prevention is better than cure. And for COVID-19, washing hands is the most important thing that you can do. It's not overstating the fact because you cannot overstate the importance of washing hands against coronavirus. Thank you for watching this video. We advise you to play your part in spreading awareness about COVID-19 by sharing this video to all of your connections, friends, family, teachers, students, colleagues, anybody. To know more, please check out the website details provided in the, descri in the description below of the World Health Organization and its efforts against the new coronavirus. Thank you.